Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Big Fry, and yesterday's video, I, uh, I, 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 pretty terrible. But I asked you guys, hey, if you want more games that, that basically hit my desk in like a, a flurry, leave a like on it. We hit 3,000 likes, that's what I said, and here we have another one. If this video gets 3,200 likes tomorrow, I'll drop another one. Let's bump it up a little bit. This game is called Zone of Death. The description of the game reads, Zone of Death is a game with different modes and character classes for single player and online gaming. At the moment, the game has four modes, Conquering the Point, Capture the Flag, Team Deathmatch, and Deathmatch. It was released October 12th, 2020, and it was developed by Mad Studios. The game is currently uh, 1550 Canadian. Yeah, so that's about $12 American. Uh, as far as I'm aware, it's a shooter. Action indie, massive multiplayer, early access game. Uh, oh yeah, so this is already an asset pack. All right. I love how it's assault rifle, AK-47, sniper rifle. Got it. So this one is uh, good enough to have its own model. Um, let's go, uh, let's go, fuck it. Let's go Glock. Uh, I don't know what perk is. Let's do that. Grenade. We'll just do frag. Um... Does this change what we actually have access to? No. The class is... Okay. Uh, so those are useless. Uh, let's do it. Let's see. Let's see what happens, I guess. Every fucking time, bro. Uh, all right. Do they just follow me? That's your ADS? I always love when bushes grow out of cement or roads that just... Stop. Oh, wow. Okay, Michael Bay. Okay, so my bots aren't moving. Have they even programmed, like, basic AI? I, I wonder where their spawn is. It's gotta be over here. Oh, here we go. Oh! The building's not even on the ground. Trees just growing out of the cement. Hey. Wow, he reloads really fast, huh? How many mags do you think he has? Oh, do you think he's out of ammo? Do you think he programmed them to switch weapons? He didn't program them to move, obviously. But do, do you think they can switch to their pistol? Hold on, I want to see what happens here. Wow, that's a frag if I've ever seen one. Okay, look it. So the arrow tells you when you can actually shoot, right? Like I've spotted him right here. I have to be this far out. Look it, because right there, I'm hitting the building in front of me. Th this right here, yeah. But just scoot. Look at that. Oh, headshots don't matter, dude. Two. Three headshots. <laughs> the melee doesn't even work. Wow. What gun is that? Oh, this was this was made in an afternoon. I swear, I'm I'm starting a fund. To just literally make like 200 of these flood steam and see if they take me down. Hold on. What's going to happen here? Wow. I love how my, f what, what is going on on my fingers there? You can see at the bottom of the scope. Oh, I see the gun disappears. Yeah. There's no scope on the rifle. There's literally no scope on the rifle. It's like this is this is the definition of an asset flip. They just got a, they just got a weapon model, put a scope up, the gun pulls up, you can literally see him holding it. Here here here's here's what people here's what needs to happen. There needs to be a store page with a curated list 
of games. And they need to do everything that Steam does in terms of, you know, refunds and support and all that stuff. And they, they need to be consumer friendly, but they need to lay waste to shit like this, bro. It, it, it needs to happen. Everyone, and, and it's funny, you always hear that the, there's a bunch of, like, defenders. People that just, oh, Big Fry Steam's the best. It allows so many people to uh, to upload whatever they want. It allows uh, aspiring game developers to really get their games out there. Yeah, and it also allows nothing but this bullshit. Good gameplay. Good gameplay, dude. Oh, look at did the bullets all hit the ground? Nah, it's just an animation. Literally doesn't mean shit. I wonder what limitations. I'm gonna run this way because I don't really give a shit about fighting more AI because they're programmed terribly. I wonder if he just has invisible walls set up. Guys, do you think we could run off the level here? I'm pretty sure this whole forest is an asset. Or, I mean, is that the edge right there? We're about to find out. Just just betting odds, do you think we're going to land on the ground down here? Probably die, right? Right? And then your body, like, contorts. Okay. He's got invisible walls over here. Yeah, we'll just ride it. We'll see We'll see what happens. So he's got an invisible wall, right? And like, you'd think it's supposed to block all of it, but he just... I'll tell you when he just stops. Right here. He literally just stops. I, I can walk and like feel the edge of the wall right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna walk and here's this side of the wall. Come on. Oh. Yeah, right here. So now, now I'm on this side of the invisible wall. He just didn't continue on. Because the edge is right there. And now I can just run behind it anyway. The least amount of work ever. Ever. That I, I, I use the term developer very fucking loosely here. Uh, people like this should be ashamed. If they're out there like being like, oh, look. Hey, hey, guys. I'm a game dev. I'm on Steam. They should be ashamed. And I just, oh, there's another invisible wall here. So he's built some fucking concoction of invisible walls that don't do anything. Um, and it's weird. I always get the people who are like, Big Fry, you create a game. Big Fry, you do better than this. I'm not a game dev, but I feel like I could. But I, I would actually put in time and effort. If you expected me to bang out a game better than this in 15 minutes because that's what this one took well maybe not but I, i'd put time and effort in i wouldn't release something so shitty so you know i get i guess i guess i'm just built different i don't know built built ford tough in in me getting my thumbnail does he just pull the mag out and then reinsert it for a reload hold on let me let me get over here Oh yeah, yeah. He he just pulls the mag out and just puts it right back in for the reload. Got it. <sighs> I, it it's it's just not worth it, dude. <laughs> if you guys enjoy the videos, uh, leave a like on them, dude. I, I no shame these people have, but it's okay, cause I'm refunding all of them. All right. We're not even looking at the Steam store page because the guy's a fucking hack anyway. My name is Big Fright. Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing if you enjoy the videos. And if you guys want to support the channel at a higher level, you can become a YouTube member. 99 cents. Click the join button down below. And I'll see you on the next one.